It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back to my Yugoslavia series where we are surrounded by factions. I've got the Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress, the Pact of Rome, the Polish faction, the Comintern, and the Allies. So many factions, boys. So many factions. We are exercising here, which we're done, so we'll stop that. We've got. We've also got a regular. Ooh, thirty-two heavy tanks. Armor rating of twenty-two, which is actually really high for nineteen thirty-nine. Um, artillery we could upgrade, but we're not gonna. We lost the effects of the Yugoslav economic aid. Working on those tanks as usual. We are a bit behind on the steel, so we'll get a bit more. We could do with a bit of tungsten as well, so we'll import that from the Soviets too. Massaging our Soviet brothers. Okay, um, you'll do. Do, 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 do. Okay, we're going to put you on the spearhead. Beer. Construction, that's done now. We could go for excavation, but we're not going to do that until we have a free slot. Uh, that's behind. We'll catch up on that one. We could go for extra reconnaissance, which I'll do now. United Kingdom exerts influence on Turkey. That's an interesting choice. I'll give it that. Um, okay, so that gives manpower. That gives extra defense. Probably going for that one early is probably going to be a good idea. So I think we'll do that one maybe now. The extra tungsten is going to be good. The extra oil is going to be good. But I think it's we get the artillery. There's so many things we should do right now. Mm. So let's think about our own personal safety right now. The honest truth is... Ah, no, I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. We're going to go for the doctrines and the cheaper artillery. Okay, you're done now. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. We should make the super artillery too. And now we're behind on artillery by 114 days. Ah, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Improve those roads. But yet again, we're not upgrading the artillery yet. New guns. We can improve those. Engineers are going to be worthwhile. Yeah, we need to focus on defense. I realize we're not focused enough on defense. The issue is we have to cover this border. Danuvia submarine guns. Submarine guns? Guns that work underwater. Submachine guns. Befriend Bulgaria? No! Bulgaria's mine, Bjoch. That's a lot of tank divisions, isn't it? I think we've got too many tanks here. I am actually really excited to see how this pans out. No! Did I just switch that out from artillery? I did. Ah! See, see, it bugs out. If you click that, then click that, and then change, it changes the one you previously clicked. Oh, well, I'm learning new things here, boys. Mistakes were made. All right, we're making the new artillery now, anyway. You know what? You know what? I wanted the artillery. Coup in Romania. A coup? Michael I. Basing rights of the Soviet Union. Ooh! They're going communist. They're guaranteed by France too. Lithuania rejects German demands. Whoa! They've said no to the memo! They've said no! Bulgaria's joined the Pact of Rome. No! <laughs> Are you having a laugh? After boosting you for communism for so long. And he's losing it. Well, there you go, guys. <laughs> We've just found out that those two bottom ones here are poo. They're really bad. Japan's declared war. Oh, okay. Oh, Japan's declaring war on the puppet, on the war, the warlords. So it's like Romania's going to move my buddy now, right? Denounce the Treaty of Trion. Um, 
think the manpower is probably going to be the better choice now. Just so we're prepared for the future. Overwhelmingly firepower. Overwhelmingly. Oh! Oh boy. Here we go. So. The People's Republic of China has joined the Comintern. Japan has declared war on the Comintern. The Axis have declared war on Poland's faction. Axis. Oh, they've joined the Axis. So that means the Germans are going to be at war with the co the, commun the communists. Okay. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, okay. So we have an Eastern Front in 1939. Hmm. 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 What's that, Dave? You want more steel? I agree. Okay, that's done. We could go for those two, but we're not going to. Excavation's a possibility. We're going to go for encryption for the extra attack. Looks like the poles are kind of... They're holding a little bit longer than they normally would, put it that way. It's a combination of all the Baltics, really. So that is a super faction, a Baltic Eastern faction. Uh, radio. I feel like I want to just go for all the excavations now. Whoa, stop, stop. I'm getting spammed. The only problem is, is when, when Paradox add more and more national focuses, after every 70 days, it's 70 days? Every 70 days, there's going to be like lots of pop-ups that happen on the same day. The Suave movement gains provisional elections. Okay, that's Indian independence. Hungary denounces the Treaty of Trayon. Okay. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany, even though they're in their own faction, which isn't going to help them. Hmm. Hmm. So manpower or defense or factory output. No, the factory output's the one. That's the meme. All right, we're pumping out about six, five, six. Artillery pieces per day. I'm quite happy with that tank division. And we're going to focus on reinforcements because it's getting closer and closer to the war. Oh, bit of combat around Manchuria. We'll go for excavation. We'll get them all done in one go. That we can get them out of the way. Only trading two away. We've got quite a lot of aluminium, but not much else. Chromium is not really relevant until the end of the game anyway. Germany's declared war on Luxembourg. I feel like we're going to see a very quick end to Germany. I don't know. I feel like they've opened a two-front war against when they're not as strong as they should be. Hmm. Hmm. Belgium has joined the Allies. Germany has declared war in Belgium. France has joined the Allies. Okay. Things are brewing. Getting tense. So we have the option between air land battle, which gives a bonus of air superiority of 20%, which is massive. Sadly, it doesn't mean a lot because we're not going to have that many planes. So shock and awe is the winner, which just overall gives a buff of soft and hard attack, which is a winner. Winner, winner. Exercise you, make sure we're uh, regulars. That's good. Exercise you guys, make you regulars. Yep. <clears throat> okay, I think we're up to date now. That's good. Now the reconnaissance on because I love reconnaissance. Oh, okay, that goes one of the. Whoa, quit India movement. Italy's declare war on Greece. Ooh, okay. Uh, we're gonna add on the artillery and the reconnaissance. Central planning is complete. Management, shall I say. Strong central control of all aspects of management will improve our ability to maintain production quotas. Here's an interesting random fact for you. Actually, we require more produc production capability to keep up with the growing needs of our military. Sarajevo 
arsenals are prime candidates for expansion, so we'll allocate resources immediately. Yeah, interesting little fact for you. In Hearts of Iron 2, the ideologies were like based on sliders, so you can move a little bit left, a little bit right. A little bit like how it was in Europa Universalis 2. Oh, okay, there's a new faction formed. And it, oh, it's the Polish faction! Okay. Oh god, the game's lagging a bit. Yeah, in... Um, Hoy 2, like, all the ideologies were based on sliders, like, more democratic, more authoritarian, uh, more left, more right, uh, more free market, more central planning. And central planning always gave more factory output. So no matter if you were Germany or the Soviet Union, you'd always want to go for factory output from central planning, where the Allies couldn't go as much central planning because they were more free market. But you could move more towards the right if you wanted to, more towards central planning. Kingdom of Romania has joined the Mizzus Mizmore Cornmore Moresmore Cosmore. Okay, so we're entered into an interesting. This feels like Kaiserite with all the wars going on in one go, you know. Oh, and the game's slowed down to a crawl. This is usually what happens when you're playing, and it's non-historical. A lot of bizarre shit happens. The mages are only Poland, so what's going to happen is when Poland falls, all the other factions are probably going to fall as well. Hmm. It's going to be interesting. How come you've... Oh, it's because I've added on the... Added on the reconnaissance, didn't I? Oh, here we go. What just happened? Okay, so literally the whole of the Polish faction has collapsed. And all of the land's been eaten up. Because none of them were made. The only major power was Poland. Okay. So now we've got this massive front line in the east. And in the west we've got like a creeping Netherlands. Oh! Oh, Italy is justifying on us. Now this is going to be a bit of a problem. Because <laughs> we've got like so many front lines. No, actually, if we close Italy and we close Zara, then we've just got Italy to the west. And then we've got the Pact of Rome here. Mm. Hungary and Bulgaria aren't that scary. 70 national unity, 75. So we can probably clean these up quite easy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. When will the justification be complete? Actually, what's the, going on? Oh, it's utilized just justifying on us. Okay. It'll be completed on the 5th of June. 19... Okay, we've got a long time to wait. Okay. Um, so that's going to be alright for the time being. I think we're going to go for those equipments. As well. Ooh, wah, 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 wah. Okay, so we need to reposition everyone right now. So I think the best strategy is going to be just to completely steamroll Hungary. We are going to position a lot of troops on the Italian border too. But not as much. So four divisions here. We don't need you. Oh, hang on, there's another tank. Go here. We need the attack. I'm trying to think if this is too little or too many, because I have a feeling they're going to steamroll this. I'm just doing anything that's in my possible... It's going to possibly delay them. That's all I'm thinking right now. We're lacking divisions, to be honest with you. Maybe... Oh, God, we really don't have enough divisions to hold the front line here. I have to kind of gamble on just plowing into Hungary and knocking them out, haven't I? Because if I plow, oh fuck! If I if I take out Bulgaria, I need to take Sofia, um, Plovdiv, 
I think I'd probably get away with just the two. Five, 15. Yeah, I could probably get away with it. So I wonder what's easy to take out. No, Hungary's always easy because it's got the flatlands. The tanks are going to perform a lot better on the flats. Uh, all we have to take out is Pex and Budapest and then we've got Hungary, no doubt about it. Okay, so we've got the air superiority here. When these guys plow into Zara, we need a few divisions here to hold the coast, because otherwise they'll take advantage of that. We are really, really lacking divisions. We'll have to delay these early, because they probably won't be full experience either. Getting tense. Alright, heavy tank. Uh, not enough. I don't think they'll pierce these tanks though. The armor's too high, 26. And my average infantry can only pierce up to 4.5. They ain't piercing those tanks. Blitzkrieg, Hungary and Bulgaria, exactly. But we're gonna need a few divisions sitting in behind as well. What was that pop-up? Oh, it was saying about Italy against us. So Italy is justifying, with a, a classic justification, just a justification like this. They're not actually using their national focus. Oh no, they are. They've got claims, haven't they? They are. I'll take that back. Bento Mussolini warns against Yugoslavian communism. Communism? That'll never work. Do we make another layer? Ugh. Definitely need the defense now. How much steel do we need? Not that much. It's okay, we'll hold out. I, I, I'm pretty confident that we can just steamroll them. I'm very confident. It's just a matter of how we split our army up. The Soviets have already guaranteed me. Oh, they had. It's gone now. I guess it's expired. This is going to be really tricky. Holding back Albania, really tricky. Maybe we should. Trying to make a good judgment here of where I can position my dudes. So this is the worst case scenario. Bulgaria and Hungary really pull their finger out and they plow over the border and try and grab Belgrade. I'm pretty much fucked. There's no doubt about it. My national unity is not high enough. So I could always go for the popular figurehead. Oh, Germans declared war on Norway because they didn't because they had they didn't have enough wars going on already, that's why. They were just like, you know what, I'd like another one. Another one. So, in all bare honesty, we're probably having the planes position here is probably gonna be more worthwhile. Yeah. Bento Mussolini was against Yugoslav communism. That's the same event that fired before. Same event. What the hell? Alright, you. Oh god, look how many divisions are there. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. 
I want you guys to attack. See, another thing that could happen is we could plow into here. Now, we're better off holding defensively. Oh, People's Republic of China. The Chinese communism dreams have ended. Oh, and the Japanese are bursting out of the Soviet Union too. Denmark has joined the Allies. Germany's declared war on Denmark. Interestingly, Germany declared war, Germany declared war on Norway before Denmark. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, yeah, definitely need that artillery upgrade. Definitely. So, I don't think Germany's going to survive very long. Um, they seem to be losing on all fronts right now. Yeah, they, they are losing on all fronts. It's interesting they've pieced out Poland separately. That usually is to their advantage, but... Oh, no, maybe they're pushing them back. Maybe. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, they're pushing them back a wee bit here on the Netherlands' front. Uh, those are up today. The defense initiative is done. Rare mineral deposits. That's not worthwhile. Planes. I guess we could go for the plane, but right now it doesn't feel like a good choice. We could go ahead of time. Now we better off going for the plane. Are you ready, boys? This is it. This Denmark is taking land off Germany. Schleswig Holstein is Denmarkian clay. Uh, training, speed, attrition reduction. Okay, so. Deploy, deploy. This is the plan. <laughs> There's not enough divisions to do that. Okay, um... Here, here. Hold victory points. Yeah, just hold victory points. <laughs> Okay. Eep. I don't know why they move. Sometimes they don't move, but this time they are moving. I don't get it. So it's the June the 1st they're going to declare war, right? Oh, you guys have to... Oh, look at the AI dipping back and forth. The AI gets so confused over multiple front lines, it's like, is this a front line or is it not? I can't decide. Alright, actually, we should exercise you guys, shouldn't we? Stop exercising. This is it. This is the moment. Declare war. There's a chance that they might actually not declare war immediately. Hmm... Yeah, there's a chance they might not insta-declare war. So, Italy might join it, but they are bringing their faction members later, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. It just depends how it works. Okay. Oh, hang on. Okay, I don't know the months. I thought, I thought it would be June next month. Never mind. Misunderstood March for May. They both start with the same letter, right? Two Germanys in 1941. What? Oh, they're kind of holding it on the Polish front, but the German Western front doesn't seem to be doing too well. Oh, Italy has declared war on the People's Republic of India. Oh, okay. We didn't read those ones out, did we? Rare mineral exploration. Previously unexploited deposits of rare minerals have suddenly become a major importance. We must uh, construct the required mines and infrastructure immediately to take advantage of them. Exploit the Pononian deposits. We should exploit the oil deposits that lie within our territory, though the quantity is migri. Uh, we need all we can get for our war machine. 
Oh, here we go, boys. The People's Republic of India. Versus non-aligned India. Which, strangely enough, has a different color. Hang on, this is the normal color, isn't it? Clamp down on corruption. And when does this finish? 5th of June. Alright, next month. Next day. Here we go, boys. This is it. This is the one. Alright, here we go. So initially, what's going to happen here... Oh, crap. Straight away, they start busting the forts. Eep. Okay, so Bulgaria's joined. Watch this. Hungary's not going to join. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Please. Please join the war. Yes. Hallelujah. All right, go here. Got to grab Pex and Budapest. Get them Pex. Why are you not moving straight to Budapest? Please just go to Budapest. Please. 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 Okay, so what's happening? So they've landed on top of us, which I thought they would. They haven't got a port yet, which is good. There's being a bit of combat happening here, but nothing is concrete. We're making some nice, clean gains. Towards Budapest. I'm actually nervous here, because the, the Bulgarian divisions have just pulled out of nowhere. They're making some gains, are they? No, no one's actually moved yet. Okay. Oh, we're holding Albania too. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go for you guys. Oh, we've got extra factories. Um, I guess we're gonna go for some more tankerinos. All right. So what's happening here? Our planes are in combat. We definitely are out manned and gunned in the air. Probably the technology of the planes isn't that great either. This is not looking good, because that means they're going to plow in lots of divisions. Oh no, I don't know. Look at the strength of these divisions of the organization. They're not that high. If we can move these guys out of the way and then plow from the south as well as the southeast, we've got it. Where are you going? Go here. Looks like we've got it. And they've grabbed this port. Okay, you guys are going to have to stay here. Please stay here. Why are you not drawing a front line? There we go. Um, Hunger is capitulate. Awesome. Now the problem is we've got lots of freaking Bulgarians to clean up. Be aggressive. Where are you guys going over here for? Go here. Go here. Go here. Can't pierce those tanks, boys. Little pistol pea shooters for the Bulgarians can't pierce my heavy Yugoslav armor. Okay, so we need to pull these guys off now, right? And we're going to add you onto your own separate army. Going to go here and pin you guys in. Perfect. So nice that we're holding this as well. I do not regret making those forts. I do not regret it. That was, oh wow, I really didn't think they'd be that useful. But to be fair, it could over a, offer a slight amount of delay. Oh, here we go. The uh, Soviets have plowed through the Slovakia mountain range. About to grab Bratislava. Go here. Go here. Slovakia is gone. That's what I mean. I, I, saw them, I saw them leeching across the mountains there to grab Bratislava. Alright, you're gone. Go here. Here we go. So we're gonna shimmy across the mountain range. They're making some gains there. Oh, looks like they're gonna join their forces up here. The liberation of Warsaw. That vent usually doesn't fire, but in this weird alternative scenario, it has. Huh. Well, what do you know? So 
So we don't have a lot of firepower, I've noticed. Yeah, we don't have a lot of firepower, but the tanks aren't pierceable, so they're creating a good stalling element. Alright, so we've got a new front line here. A new tank. Can we just grab Sophia? Go here, go here. And uh, this guy. And then here. Got him. Got him. Alright, at this point, this is not looking good, but I think we can probably just, just hold it. I don't want to make... It looks like there's a nice opportunity to make some gains here, because I could probably take Istria. Istria? Um, but the problem is we're losing our forts then, so we need the fort protection. Without the forts, we are useless. Okay, so you guys are going to go here, then go here. 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 Retreat. So the Bulgarians are choosing to make gains now, which is kind of frustrating because I really wish I could hold these areas, but I can't. Hmm. This is holding nice and firm, but here we're struggling. We're doing alright with weapons. We've lost four convoys. Oh, look at this. 77 massive capital ships. Verse 6. Pretty much dinghies. Who will win? That is the question. Almost done. Whew. It's not looking as stable as I would like. Um, what? We're behind on Chromium? What? It's because we've lost uh, Macedonia. Oil exploits. Um, do, 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 do. We could go for one of the air manufacturers so we can get Quicker research. Go. See, you can see the lack of firepower. It's just infantry followed up with our, with, with our armor. That's all it is. They're taking a bit of suppression here. Looks like they're making further breakthroughs in the south as well. Hmm. Guys! This is a very tense moment, and it's not looking too good, to be honest with you. Initially, they're pushing to Hungary. It's doing quite well. We took out the Hungarians with relative ease. The big decider, if we can win this, is going to be whether we can take out the Bulgarians, which if we can grab Sofia and uh, Plovdiv, which I'm probably saying wrong, um, we could probably gather up all our forces and slam back into the Italians. Uh, but otherwise, we're not looking too good. And Germany isn't looking too good, is it? We have a... Uh, Cold War situation appearing. Fascism didn't last very long in Germany, that's for sure. Guys, I hope you have an awesome day. Remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.